Definitely one of the most popular data visualization tools out there is Tableau. It's a super important skill for you if you want to become a data analyst, but it's also super important for roles like data scientists and data engineers as well. I would say it's a pretty easy tool to start with, but it can get overwhelming pretty soon. And so in this video, my goal is to show you exactly what you should know uh, about Tableau, all the different features that I think are super important. I'm saying this because I'm a data analytics lead and I've been working with uh, Tableau for the past seven years and so by the end of this video you will know exactly what is needed today as a data professional uh, in regards to Tableau but also very important what you can skip and not really focus on when working with Tableau because maybe those are features that are not really needed in the workplace right now and if you're here because you're interested in uh, joining a career in data analytics and you want me to help you all the way until you land a job then make sure to check my analytics and automation academy it's a six weeks program where I'm gonna help you on a one-to-one -one basis we cover all the key skills that you need for a data analytics role, such as Excel, SQL, Tableau, and Python. For all of these tools, we build together a very advanced portfolio project. We uh, create together your portfolio so that you're ready to uh, get started with uh, recruiters and hiring managers, apply for jobs and landing interviews. I will also teach you how to build AI agents, which is a skill that is booming right now. And I will also teach you all the domain knowledge you need in fields like marketing, finance, sales, and actually whatever you're interested in uh, as part of your career goals. Applications are open right now. I'm selecting uh, only a few people uh, so that I can really follow you on a one-to-one -one basis. So in case you're interested, make sure to check the link in the video description below. Okay, and so without further do, let's jump into Tableau and let me show you exactly what you need to know today. Okay, so what I want to do is actually taking a ready-made dashboard and seeing all the elements that, uh, you know, are used within Tableau to create this final result. By the way, a lot of people don't know that if you go to uh, public, uh, Tableau Public, there is a uh, kind of this uh, discovery section where you can basically search for all dashboards that other people are publishing on the website. You can definitely uh, search by topic. So for example, I can click, uh, I can search for marketing and these are all marketing dashboards that I see on the website. Selected this one because uh, this looks pretty good to me. It looks very simple, uh, you know, as a kind of a first site, but actually there is a lot of stuff going on here and we're going to see this in just a second. When you find a dashboard that you like, you can use it as a template for uh, your dashboard. So so, you know, uh, you can maybe reuse this template and just um, replacing the charts with uh, your data. The way to do this is going into this download button and simply downloading the Tableau workbook. With this, you basically have a Tableau file that you can use uh, yourself for projects and basically will help you not to, uh, you know, start from scratch, which sometimes can uh, um, slow down your, your process, your work but actually start with a good foundation, with a good template. Uh, you don't have to worry about formatting because that has been done for you already. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded the uh, dashboard that I just showed you. I'm now inside uh, Tableau Public. So this is the free version of Tableau that I have on my on my machine, on my laptop. Basically, the purpose of this video, as I said at the start, is uh, showing everything that I think you should know about Tableau to be very confident in the workplace, but also in job interviews and so on. First thing that you have to be very familiar with is the data source page, uh, which is basically the place where you connect to your data. How do we uh, see the data that this dashboard is connected to? I can simply, uh, now I'm in the dashboard uh, tab, so I can simply open a worksheet. Worksheet is basically this thing that you see with a, a gray um, rectangle. So this is what I'm selecting now. And if I want to go to the sheet and uh, see what's inside, this is the button here. And once I'm inside on the uh, top left of my screen, I see that there are two items here. And this is actually the data that uh, this dashboard connects to. If I want to explore this data, I can simply do a right click and then I can click on view data. And I can see that uh, this um, data source called uh, sheet one visitor data. Uh, these are all the columns that this data is using. You have to uh, bear in mind that this is um, kind of a raw data, but will also show you the uh, calculations that uh, this person added uh, on uh, uh, on this data. So this is actually not things that were kind of uh, in the raw original uh, version of this uh, spreadsheet, but actually were things that were created in Tableau. We're going to see this in just a second. This is a quick view, a uh, quick way to see what's uh, what's your Tableau dashboard is connected to. I've covered this thing here, which is uh, pretty important. The other thing that usually is not important, so 
I'm going to cover this in just a second, but um, it's definitely not a feature that I consider important, is this difference between blue and uh, orange icon here. So the blue one is basically the main um, data source that is used in this view, whereas the orange one is a data source that is blended and connected to the main one. If I click on this one, I can see exactly what are the fields that this person used to blend these two data sources together. So they were using date field. I think that's pretty much it. I have an option here, so I can also use the social media field to blend the data together. But um, in this case, that was the choice from the, the person that created this dashboard. This is not a uh, kind of a best practice and uh, thing that I consider important. Don't worry too much about this, but this is just for you to know as a, as a context. I am inside a worksheet uh, tab, which is basically, you know, uh, the, the canvas that I can use to build a dashboard. And so I want to show you very quickly the stuff that I consider important to know here. We cover the top left, so that's done. Then you see this long menu of fields here. So basically, these are all the fields that are available in the uh, data source that are connected to. Obviously, these are the fields that you're going to use to create your Tableau dashboard. So you're going to use a lot uh, this kind of space of the dashboard uh, when you work with Tableau. I guess the thing to consider here is that you have this field here, for example, customer ID that has this icon. So this icon indicates the, the data type of uh, this, uh, this field. So customer ID in this case is a number, so that's perfect. But also sometimes you have this icon, so for example, this is a date, so that uh, is a date uh, data type, so that's fine. In this case, you will see that sometimes there is an equal and then the icon. There is a lot of these fields with an equal and then the icon. That simply means that all of these fields are calculations, so not things that were uh, original in the data, but things that were created in Tableau. The way to see this is that if I uh, right-click here and I do Edit, I can see exactly the calculation that is going on here. I think this is uh, this means current year, so that's the name of the field. What this does is basically a calculation, and obviously you can use this space to kind of code uh, your calculation, so that's um, something that you should be familiar with. In this case, uh, this person took the, the date field, he truncated the, the date field, um, and they were probably just interested about the year. So date trunk, uh, if I forget about this function, I can click on this function and I can see the description on the right hand side. So this um, function truncates the specific, the specified date uh, to the accuracy specified by the data part. So for example, if I truncate this date here, so 15 August, uh, 2004, and I'm only uh, interested in the quarter, then basically this is the this is the final result is going to just give me the, the start of the quarter, which is the 1st of July. So that's exactly what, uh, what this uh, field does, this function, and also an example. So pretty good uh, to have this in Tableau. And in this case, it takes the maximum of the year date, which is basically the, the current year. So that's what this uh, function does. I'm going to click on OK and close this uh, function. And uh, as you can see here, there were a lot of functions, a lot of uh, sorry, calculated fields that this person created uh, for, for this dashboard. So definitely something to, uh, to be aware of. If you want to create a new calculated field, you can just click on this little arrow here, create calculated field. You can name the field and then, you know, for example, customer ID, you can select the, the fields that you prefer and then click OK when you're happy with your, with your calculated field. That's basically what's going on on the left-hand side of your screen. The other things that are very important are definitely the column and rows, and these are the places where you're going to put your values, depending on what you want to visualize in the, in the final uh, canvas. And so, for example, if I'm trying to replicate what's going on here, so I mean, I can take this tab and move it here, open a new worksheet that is uh, blank. And actually this person is hiding uh, the tabs when I'm not open. So let me right click here and unhide all sheets. So I can see all of them now here. I mean, I can start from this one. So, oh, actually let me go on sales. So basically they want to uh, visualize the sales amount by month. So that's a pretty easy one to, uh, to recreate. Let me do a new worksheet here. Let me grab, so they are using the date and the sales amount. So what I'm going to do to create my first visualization is I'm going to grab the date and I'm going to put it in the columns because I want it in the uh, x-axis. In this case, I don't want the year, but I want the month. And also I want a continuous version of this uh, date field. So I'm going to click on continuous first, and then I'm going to click on month. Obviously it looks funky now, but you're going to see now in just a second the 
the real version. Let me actually see, okay, they select the sales amount. So I'm going to get the sales amount and put it into rows because uh, this is the sales amount. So these are the rows uh, or the Y axis. And then my dates are on the X axis. That's exactly what's happening here. And this is how to create your first uh, chart in Tableau. Just, you know, dragging and uh, dropping fields from here into either columns or, or rows. Now, if I want to uh, play a bit with the formatting of this view, I can definitely do so. So uh, you have all these uh, marks available to you to basically, yeah, format your, uh, your dashboard. I can click on color and I don't know, let's say that I prefer this type of blue or maybe less to even orange. So that's the way to do it even play with the opacity. Uh, so, you know, you have a lot of options there. Uh, usually I um, prefer lines with a very little size. So that's kind of the, the way to do it. And also I can include the labels, obviously very important. So for example, I can do a show mark labels to see all the numbers that are going on in the chart. In this case, it looks a bit cluttered. So there is a lot of numbers going on here. So maybe what I can do is clicking uh, min and max only to show the minimum value or the maximum value. Or maybe another option is that I want to see uh, the only the line ends, which means, you know, the starting value and the ending value. And I think this is exactly yeah what this person did, right? You see the starting value and the ending value. So if I see label, that's exactly uh, what has been selected. Now I want to go on and show you exactly uh, what else is going on in this dashboard. We can cover the filter section. Obviously super important when you have a dashboard to add um, a bit of a kind of interaction uh, with uh, so that users can uh, you know, just select the, the data that they are interested in. And that's exactly what's going on here. So for example, you have a social media filter. You can uh, probably yeah, select Instagram and all the data will uh, automatically reflect Instagram only. The way to do this, uh, if I go back to the my sheet 19 that I was working on, is by using the filters. So in this case, for example, I can use a date filter. I think this was, yeah, the year date was, as a, uh, was added as a filter. I can click on date and I can drag this, uh, in this case, the date filter uh, on the filters and not in column or rows because I just want to use that as a filter. And in this case, uh, let's say that I'm interested in filtering by years only. I'm going to select here. Uh, in this case, I uh, want to show all of them. So at the start, I just want to show all of them. And then if I want to see if the filter is working, I'm just going to click on this little arrow, show filter. And that's basically uh, what's happening here. So now I can select obviously if i uh, unselect all of them uh, there is nothing going on here but that's uh, actually uh, you know what's going on with the filters and how to use filters and you might be surprised by the fact that this that i just showed you all of these features so we cover the data source the list of fields and the calculated fields we cover columns and rows we cover kind of the formatting that you can use with the marks. We cover the labels and the filters as well. This is pretty much 80% of features that you will use in Tableau. It can uh, get more complex than this, but uh, I can promise you that as a data analytics leader, uh, worked with Tableau uh, for over seven years now, these are exactly, you know, pretty much 80% of things that uh, you can do with, uh, with Tableau and all the features that you actually need to know. Now, if I want to add an extra 10%, this is where uh, I will need to show you how to create the actual dashboard. Because as you can see here, I was working with a worksheet. So this is uh, exactly, uh, you know, the new worksheet that I created, but I can bring together many worksheet uh, that I create uh, through this canvas into one single dashboard. This is where I can create a new dashboard. The new dashboard obviously will be empty. This is the kind of a bit of a different view that you have when you work on your final dashboard. Thing to, uh, uh, that you can uh, basically optimize here is definitely the size of your dashboard. As you can see here, if I increase the size, also my dashboard will increase. Obviously, you know, it's uh, width, height, and uh, so those are the things that you can adjust. This is the menu of uh, worksheets that I create and then I can add to my dashboard. And these are the different objects that I can uh, also add to my dashboard. To show you quick, quickly how this, uh, this all works, I can, for example, start with an object. So I can uh, take the text and drag it and drop it into my dashboard. And maybe, you know, I can put here a title uh, placeholder, something like this. Maybe I can uh, center this, maybe making it a bit bigger and, you know, maybe black. That's going to be my title, placeholder. And then basically um, I can bring in my, for example, um, I think I was working with the sheet 19. So I'm going to bring it down here. I, when I drag uh, and before dropping into the dashboard, I can see exactly where I want to position it. So maybe 
I want to put it um, below my title. As you can see here, as soon because I show I was uh, using a filter, as soon as I uh, drop my uh, worksheet over here, then I also see the filter appearing um, in my dashboard as well. I can decide to keep it or to remove it. In this case, I think it's uh, it's okay. Maybe I'm not going to put it there, uh, but maybe I can put it uh, be, be below the title, something like this. And then I can start basically formatting. So obviously the title looks uh, uh, too big here, so I can put it uh, back in the top. The filter also, we don't need all of this space. Maybe I can add more filters next to this one. Maybe I can hide this uh, title here. You know, that's pretty much uh, a dashboard that obviously is not very formatted, but I can uh, start to, uh, you know, uh, again, work on as a, as a base. And this is pretty much, again, what is uh, going on, um, obviously in a more clean version over here. You said that this one, if I double click, is simply a uh, text. So this is the title of the of the dashboard these are all different worksheets that are placed in the dashboard and the way that are placed here is actually using containers to make them all align together so if i right click here i can select the container and this is the container that was used to put all the worksheet together if i want to show it to you in my dashboard i can exactly like do exactly the same so I can select, for example, horizontal container, and I can put it at the very top of my dashboard and replace all of my item inside the container that I just added. The way that you see the container is the blue outline instead of the gray one. So that's how you distinguish container. I put my title inside the container, then I'm going to put um, my filter in my container, and also I'm going to put my um, chart in the container. Now, obviously, it looks uh, funky now, but Basically, this was just to show you that I simply placed all of my items in a container in the same way uh, as uh, this person. Then uh, you have a filter. Probably the other thing that you might wonder, uh, you see the line chart, and that's exactly what I created. The other thing that uh, is a bit more advanced, but pretty smart from this person, is that actually she added uh, measures in the title itself. So if I click, double click on the title, you can see here that she put the uh, title, uh, total sales, then uh, sum of sales, and you know other stuff going on in the title. The way to do this is that uh, she kind of put all of this stuff here that are in details and not uh, appearing as text in the marks. And this is how you know when she um, kind of can uh, edit the title. You have this kind of insert button where you can add more items in this title, but you can also only add the items that you added in this marks uh, uh, place placeholder here. That's a bit of a more advanced uh, thing, I would say. I don't see this happening often, but something that you can uh, do if you wanna go a bit more advanced. I covered a bit of a advanced topics here at the uh, towards the end, but uh, what I wanted to show you is that basically what you have in here, obviously not in a formatted version, but also uh, with the addition of working with the uh, dashboards is pretty much 90 percent of things that you can do in Tableau. Obviously, there, there is a lot of time that you can spend with formatting, and that's why I was recommending starting with um, kind of a, a template that is already made. For example, if I want to replace this one with the new chart that I made, I can simply select this one and having my sheet 19 and click this little arrow to simply substitute the chart that I made in the same template that this person was using. And so hopefully this made it very clear on how easy it is to work with Tableau and pretty much most of the uh, features that you should be aware of uh, if you want to uh, work with Tableau for your projects, but also in uh, interviews and a real in a real uh, workplace scenario. And there you have it, a simple uh, video on all the features that I definitely recommend you knowing about Tableau and really mastering if you want to uh, land a job in data analytics, but also succeed in these type of roles. As I mentioned at the start, if you're interested about these topics, make sure to check out my Analytics and Automation Academy so that I can help you all the way until you land a job in data. And also, if you're interested, I will leave in the screen another similar video that I made on uh, Tableau, but also SQL, Python, and Excel. Again, covering all the features that you really need to master today if you want to pass interviews, but also if you want to succeed in a role in data analytics. If you found at least one useful information in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.